Hi, welcome to my video on the Insta360 Mark II or brand new extended edition selfie stick. Now this is an uprated version of their three meter carbon selfie stick. Now on the front of the box, you get the picture of the selfie stick, which is in a black and white picture. So you get that on the front. On the side, you get just three, um, in just three descriptions, basically saying carbon fiber. Uh, it extends from 36 centimeters to three meters or 14 inches to 9.8 feet. And it's completely invisible with the 360 camera. On the other side of the box, it just tells you the length that it extends to, and it does have markers at the 120 centimeter point, the 240 centimeter point, and the 300 centimeter point. Now in the box, you get the selfie stick itself, carbon fiber, and also a little instruction booklet. This particular version, it is more compact than the previous version. So this can able to be fit into rucksacks and day bags. This is what the selfie stick looks like when you take it out of the box. It has an all carbon fiber construction with a bit of plastic and a bit of metal. So I'll start off with the top and then work all the way down to the bottom. At the very top here, we have a rubber cap that Insta360 provides with the selfie stick and that houses the quarter inch metal screw thread in there. And we come down to these three markers. Now these three markers, as I stated before at the beginning of the video, the first marker at the top is 120 centimeters. The second marker is 240 centimeters. And the last marker is 300 centimeters or three meters. And below all three of those markers, we have just a yellow plastic ring. Now into the main body or first section, if you want to recall the bottom being the first section or, or the end section. So the first thick section here is all carbon fiber as the whole selfie stick is. And then we come down to a kind of, I would describe it as between a mixture of rubber and foam it's very thin it's not really as spongy as some of the selfie sticks that I've come across where this is quite thick but it feels that it's sweat absorbent and there is a bit of a grip to it so that's one thing I like so uh, about this and so we have that here and at the very bottom we have this metal plate at the bottom now it's a solid metal plate and there is a bit of weight to this plate as well. So I don't think this plate is just a, a plain old cap, but there's a bit of weight to it as well. And at the very, very bottom, we have a quarter inch screw thread and that is for you to attach either a lanyard with a quarter inch screw thread to be screwed into there or to place it on tripod legs or on a tripod. Now the handle itself, as I said to you before, it's this kind of rubber stroke foam um, sponge type feel to it. Um, but it has the words Insta360 um, embossed in there. And on the other side, it has the word Shuri, I think it is. And I hope I could pick that up on camera, folks. It has the word Shuri on there. Now I think either Insta um, lets this company Shuri make this um, selfie stick for them or they're in collaboration with this particular company because normally this company makes um, monopods and uh, tripods. This selfie stick opens up or extended out to three meters, but I won't do that here in, the, in my living room because even with the camera right across to the other side of the living room, I can't get it all into shot. So you'll see that on the B-rolls, how this looks when it's fully extended. But this selfie stick does extend out into 10 sections. So starting from the top, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That includes the handle or last section. Now with the top section, the first section or last section, 
This has a diameter of one centimeter for its first, for the fir first or last section is a diameter of one centimeter. And the handle section at the bottom here has a diameter of four centimeters. Um, just under four centimeters, it has a diameter. The entire weight of the selfie stick without a camera being placed on there is 458 grams it weighs. Like what Insta or Shuri has done with this particular selfie stick. As I said, it's all carbon fiber construction, mostly carbon fiber with plastic and metal. But I love what they've done between each of these sections and what they really have thought about. And it's pity that other companies, certain other companies don't do this. They've actually made the actual collars with the studs almost to the same color as the selfie stick itself, which has this kind of dark gray kind of swirl pattern to it uh, or, or striped pattern to it around uh, because of the carbon fiber. And it's, I'll try and pick it up on camera folks, but you can see the colors are in a dark gray with the studs, the same color as the colors. Now each of these colors are made out of plastic, they're not metal, but it all blends into one and helps give this a premium uh, looking selfie stick. Now this is how the selfie stick looks when it's fully extended and I had to do it outside because there was no way I could pick all of it up at full length in my lounge to tape for you. So that's how it looks and you can see it's perfectly straight. There's no bend even at full extension. Now I straighten out the selfie stick to its full extended length and placed an Insta 1R camera on the end. And I'm going to do the wobble test. And as I shake the selfie stick, there is a bit of a bend, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break whatsoever. And it handles the camera on the end perfectly okay. So for me, this gets a thumbs up. It's a perfectly strong, full length, three meter selfie stick. Now this is how the selfie stick looks when you fully extend it. And I used the Insta um, Go 2 to show you how it looks. And this is how it sounds when you're pulling the selfie stick out. Because even though this selfie stick relies on friction, there is a bit of a noise uh, when you pull out each section. Now using the GoPro Max, looking back on myself, with this selfie stick fully extended. This is how it will look when you're looking down at yourself uh, using a 360 camera, how the pole looks. This is part of a video where I do my two pence worth on the Insta Extended Edition Selfie Stick Mark II. And I'll start off with the negatives first. Now the biggest negative about this selfie stick is the price. Now, luckily, I bought this from the Insta360 um, website when they were doing a reduction of this, so I managed to get this at £76, excluding the postage. But now, it is round about the £86 mark, and at one particular time, it was up to £90 for this particular selfie stick. So, it's a lot of money just for a selfie stick, now you have to bear it in mind, you're gonna pay that amount of money. So I said, if you pay up to 90 pounds for this, you gotta try and get 90 pounds worth of usage out of this pole, out of this pole, sorry, to justify paying that amount of money. And the last two negatives, because there's only really three negatives I could see out of that. And one is the price. Two has to be this handle here. Now, they could have added a bit more sponge to this handle. It does have a nice grippy feel and it has a kind of very funny feel to it because it's, a, as I said, it's like a mixture of foam and rubber to it. But holding this for extended use because you're feeling the carbon fiber, there's not really much kind of cushioning to this, can be a bit troublesome to some people on their hands. So they just need to be a bit more thicker on the rubber sponge on here which would have made it really great. And the next negative has to be with these um, markers here and the ring. 
It would have been great if they made these markers out of uh, aluminium or metal because, and the ring itself, because with plastic, if you drop this a couple of times, I guarantee that this plastic yellow ring is going to break and these particular markers as well. So that would have been really good, especially for its price, if they made these out of aluminium itself or even has, have it in carbon fiber and just etched the actual figures on there. And now for the positives. Now the biggest positive has to be with this particular selfie stick is one, it's the weight of it, considering that it can go up to three meters, that the weight of this is only 458 grams. Now, if this was made out of aluminium, it'd be a lot heavier than this um, for a start. So the weight of this is one of the biggest positives. Also, the compact size of this, it can be able to be placed into a bag or a rucksack or even to a small suitcase or carry-on case, carry-on luggage, it can be placed in there. Another positive has to be the build quality of the selfie stick itself. Even when fully extended, there is no bend to this. It feels solid. Obviously, when I did the wobble test, the last two sections did feel a bit shaky, but um, that being its fully extended length. If you came down just probably about an inch or so on the last two sections, <laughs> will make this thing feel absolutely solid like. Um, so that should have went basically went in the negative section, but otherwise the build quality of this is very, very good. And I absolutely put this up there along with the Sandmark um, action poles and also the GoPro action poles. I put this right up there with them. Now I have a couple of um, caveats to say about this before going to my conclusion. The first caveat is going to be this is not really a waterproof um, selfie stick or action pole. It's not suited for that whatsoever. Um, if you put this in water with your camera, it will sink. Um, I've tried it and it will sink. So not advised to go around large bodies of water like the sea, rivers, ex lakes, etc. Swimming pools, you could take a chance because it's a swimming pool and you can simply uh, swim to the bottom of the pool to retrieve it and most likely see it. So, but it is not a waterproof um, action pole whatsoever. Another has to be this is only suitable for action cameras or the Go cameras or 360 cameras. It's not suitable to put your DLSR cameras on here. It's not suitable for that. You may get away with the odd point and shoot camera that you could fit on there, no problem. But for your DLSRs and mirrorless cameras, I suggest do not use this pole to its full length I would not use it to its full length with those type of cameras. If anything, I'd probably use it at half the length. So I'll only go up five sections. If you're going to use a mirrorless camera and as for a DLSR camera, I'll only take it to three sections, tell you the truth. And depends what kind of lens you have on your DLSR camera. If it's a very big lens on there, I wouldn't bother using this whatsoever. Now, this is my overall conclusion about the Insta extended edition selfie stick or pole. Now, overall, I think this is worth its price. I know I was saying that the price lets it down and puts it into the negative. But if you're like me and you have several um, selfie sticks stroke action poles, um, especially action poles, this um, does knock quite a few of them out and you don't really need them. The only pole I have actually kept back now is, I think it's the Reach um, action pole. I think I've kept back. And because um, even though it's, it's a white pole in certain circumstances, I would need a white pole, um, especially if I'm in the woods and stuff like that. So if I do lose it and that I can actually see it. And the other pole, I 
think it was a plastic pole, which is designed strictly for um, around bodies of water. The name escapes me at the present moment. I've kept back them. And obviously the little selfie sticks um, that I use from time to time, I've, I've kept some of them back. But the rest of them, uh, especially action poles and 360 poles, I've actually uh, put them on for sale because with this particular pole, because it's the one that now you can set it at any length within three meters, you don't have to have uh, certain poles for certain lengths. So that's what this is really good for. And as I said, if you're somebody like me who sh shoots a lot of 360 uh, footage, um, having just one pole that does the job is really good. So that in somewhat, when it comes to the price, it's worth it in that respect. Now, if you're gonna place this pole on uh, legs for outdoor use, I suggest that you try and get table top, table top tripod legs. The longer, the better, especially when you want to fully extend this. Now I'm looking for table top tripod legs that can actually go out to about 12 inches at least uh, for the legs. So it can able to take the, the without tipping over the camera on top. And if there's a breeze, so I'm looking for that at the present moment. But overall, this is a very good poll. And I'd say I hope um, Insta360 does even the compact poll and the other poll, which is, I can't remember the name of it now, which has its own built-in legs. I wish they do carbon fiber versions of them as well. And uh, with, especially with the markers on there to get them at certain lengths and have their whole line of poles looking all the same that would be really great now if you happen to have the extended edition 360 uh, selfie stick mark ii version um, please let us know down in the comment sections what your thoughts are about it because your opinions are different to my opinions so please leave that down in the comment section thanks for watching the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail on the item or the product, so when you get it, you know what to expect. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel, I'll be grateful for that, and I'll see you next time.